Hey guys, Sergey Prevail here. Uh, in the woods today, I'm actually looking for a place to build a uh, bushcraft camp, uh, like a semi-permanent shelter, maybe. Um, been wanting to do this for a couple years. Uh, you know, build somewhere where I can keep coming back and and, and building and improving on the shelter and. and Maybe bring my kids here for a cook up and spend some overnights here. And but uh, anyway, I found a place here. It's close to a little river. Uh, lots of material here to build a shelter. No shortage. I wouldn't have to uh, carry wood and, and 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 sticks and stuff from a huge distance. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, look around a little more here. Uh, find the perfect little place to uh, start. And uh, we're going to start off with a raised bed, maybe a far reflector today, not sure. And uh, then probably come back on another day, do the lean-to part, the roof part. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out my new silky saw here. I uh, haven't tried it yet, so this is the day. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy the little series I'm going to be having, having here, the bushcraft camp build. And uh, stay tuned. So I've settled on this place right here. I'm going to use this tree and this tree. Put my ridge pole across here. My bed is going to be here. So I just need uh, a couple of logs like I have. Get them leveled up. Then I'm going to start cutting uh, what we call longers, long, long straight sticks. Longers for, uh, for the bed here. So this is the Silky Big Boy 2000, uh, I ordered it from eBay, uh, just a heads up, um, when I ordered it the picture showed a sheath or like a case, but uh, when I got it come it didn't have a case, it just came just like this. I went back and looked at the listing and the title did say uh, Silky Big Boy Body, so even though it showed a picture they weren't selling it with a case. So uh, I, the, the title was correct, I just didn't realize that it didn't come with a case because I seen a picture of a case uh, with the saw. So, so uh, I'm going to give her a go right now, first time, Haven't even uh, hasn't even touched any wood yet, so let's see how it does. So I guess it wasn't bad, it's a pretty nice saw, a little bendy, I guess I should have took my time a little more but oh yeah very nice. So here's the basic idea for the bed, just uh, I was going to cut all long long poles for here but uh, decided that would be too springy so uh, what I'm gonna do I use these two poles that one and that one and I'm just gonna cut sticks and, and lay them this way so hopefully that uh, will strengthen it a little bit and I can always put supports under here if it's too springy
So guys, here's the bed all done. It's a fairly big bed. A lot bigger than what I need. But at least I can store my gear in there too and stuff once I get the roof on. I think it came out pretty nice. And the saw, I, I chopped the trees down. Then I used the saw to cut them all to uh, length. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this saw, for sure. But uh, I'm going to take a little break, clean out a little place here for a fire, and uh, I'm going to uh, get some tea and some lunch. Okay guys, I just got my mower out today. Let's see if we can get her going with this. So I just got some old man's beard. And some smaller sticks here, some bigger ones here. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that took uh, a lot longer than I thought it was. Had a little trouble getting that old man's beard going. So just got some buttered bread, a can of Viannis, some tea. But I can guarantee you I'm going to be having some fine feeds here at this shelter. So my initial plan for today was to build the bed and uh, make a nice fire pit, a, a reflective wall and stuff. But I think I'm going to wait on the fire pit because I'm going to bring a shovel. I'm going to dig a nice hole here because it's really mossy and really uh, uh, lots of roots and stuff. So I really want to clean it up nice before I make a reflective wall and stuff. So after lunch I'll probably just get the ridge pole in place for the back walls and uh, collar day I'd say. Okay guys, so that's the ridge pole there. Um, next step now would be to get some poles to go vertical. And uh, I'll probably build up the walls a little bit when I get around to it. And uh, then I'll just use a big tarp once I get so many poles up there. I'll use a big tarp to waterproof it. I'll probably use a reflective emergency blanket on the inside to reflect the reflect the heat. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. So I just want to say uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys follow along for the uh, for the little bushcraft camp build here. And uh, eventually I'll get some overnights down here for sure. So as always, thanks for watching and uh, catch you guys on the next video.
Take care, guys.